Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. I just updated to Defensive Resolve 18.1. I thought I would share the changes and features with you guys too, so you guys can decide if it's worth updating or upgrading yourself. So let's jump right into it. What you're seeing on screen right now is some of the features that came with the update to 18.1. Of course, there are some features which are not mentioned here that we will talk about, but let's get into these first. Um, let's see. Individual timeline locks. Um, editors can lock timelines without locking bins in multi-user collaboration. I personally don't use multi-user collaboration, but that's good for people who do. Um, DaVinci AI voice isolation. Now this seemed to be a studio only feature. And for those of you guys that don't know studio, it's a paid version of DaVinci Resolve. So the free version is not studio, but if you want studio, you have to pay. I believe it's something around, I want to say $300, somewhere around there. But let's move on. Um, let's see. So, audio editing improvements, Fairlight Automation Vector Keyframe plus New Timeline Grid, YouTube Render Options, Review Render Options, and Select Custom Thumbnails for your uploads. That's, that's interesting, honestly. That's pretty interesting. Vertical resolution support. Finally, finally, I'll go into more detail in a little bit and show you guys how to use this. But vertical resolution support is awesome, actually. Um, social media vertical and square aspect ratio options in project settings yes this is what we want we we'll go to project settings in a little bit automatic dialogue leveler balance dialogue smoothly for a natural sounding audio mix um enhanced subtitle tracks um track presets per track Formatting and individual caption. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, what it shows here performance boost optimizations. Up to 10 times faster text plus, five times stabilization, and face refinement. Um, four times an hour and more. So basically faster performance most likely and whatnot. But now let's get into the vertical changes. Okay. The vertical changes are what I'm going to basically focus on in this video. I'm going to show you them right now which is, if you go to the gear icon here, you will see that it says use vertical resolution. So it will just change what you need to vertical. Like, okay, say for example, we went to 4K, okay? Then hit use vertical. It would just flip them over for us automatically. Say we want an 8K vertical. I don't know if people do 8K verticals, but you can here. Of course, for the purpose of this, we're going to stick with 
you yeah, know that that's square for Instagram. But yeah, for the purpose of this, we are going to stick with this and make it vertical. Why not? Hit save. There's a timeline there. And then when we go to render, now it actually deleted our presets because we did have some presets here, but it's okay, I guess. It is, wait, it's right. It did have me update the library as well. For those of you guys that don't know, updating the library typically means that you can't go back to an older version. Basically, once you update the library, it just won't be compatible with the older version anymore. Um, If I got something wrong there, let me know comment section below. But yeah, that's what I believe it to be. But what we're looking at here is the fact that there's a vertical resolution check even on the export settings. So no more having to retype it in like we have quite a bit. Actually, this makes a lot of my tutorials a little bit out of date, but not that much out of date. I mean, it's, it's a clicky button. It's very, it's brilliant. I know it seems like such a simple change, but we live in the time of YouTube short, TikToks, Instagram reels, vertical video format. So yeah, with that said, I'm actually going to end it here hopefully you guys found this helpful and let me know in the comment section below are you upgrading or have you upgraded and if you haven't and you're not going to any particular reason why i'm curious to know why you might not be upgrading to 18.1 in the comment section below. And yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.